another important parameter of the battery is the C rate. What is C rate? The rate at which the capacity of a battery is built up, filled up, what we call as charged charging or given up, discharged to the load is called the C rate of the battery. See, the C rate normally refers to the discharge current of the battery. Uh, but uh, nowadays, the charging up of the battery has also become very important. You would have seen fast charging, uh, super fast charging uh, uh, characteristics of the batteries uh, coming into commercial usage now. So uh, along with the discharge current, the charging current is also equally important. So uh, today the C rate uh, uh, re refers uh, to more, more to the capacity of the battery being built up or given up, the rate at which it can be discharged, the rate at which it can be charged up. We have a simple equation here, IB, IB is the uh, battery average current is equal to C by N. C is the capacity, we are taking the ampere hour capacity and N is the number of hours of continuous discharge. So if you take a simple example, you see that for a 20 ampere hour battery and 10 hours of discharge, IB is 20 ampere hours by 10 hours which is 2 amps. Pretty simple. But what it means is that a 20 ampere hour battery is capable of supplying 2 amps average current to the load up to 10 hours. However, note that 2 amp average current to the load, 2 amp discharge current to the load for 10 hours, so 2 into 10, 20 ampere hours would ideally be the capacity and the discharge current relationship. However, in practice, it is not so. A 20, hour, a 20 ampere hour battery, if you are discharging at 2 amp average current uh, rate uh, for 10 hours, it would be much more than 20 ampere hours or you should say that 20 ampere hours is consumed in much less than 10 hours. So you should read it as something like this. Let me make some room. Due to losses, a 20 ampere hour battery can supply 2 amp average current for less than 10 hours. So this is what you should um, actually um, uh, use in practice, not the ideal uh, one. But however, for benchmarking, we still use this equation. C rate symbolic variations means there are uh, many representations of the C rate in the literature and in the web. So probably uh, uh, some examples here will give you some idea insight. C by 10 means 1 tenth the capacity uh, will be the discharge current. It is also indicated as C10, 10, 10 coming to the right of C. So the C rate value will be C by 10. So which means this will be the amount of discharge 
uh, current flowing for this much amount of hours to give you this capacity. C by phi also indicated as C phi in some literature and the discharge current is C by phi. C by 0.5 also indicated as C.5 and also indicated as 2C. You see the integer number is on the left of C and the discharge current value is C by 0.5 or 2C. So uh, what is more popularly used probably is something like this. You see here C with an integer on the right, C with an integer on the right, phi, C with an integer on the left, giving you C10, C rate, C20 rate, so on. You have the 20 C rate, 10C, 2C, so on. So in general, if you take C and if you take the left hand side, the left hand side the integer, if, the, if you find an integer on the left hand side of C, you multiply with the capacity. If you find uh, an integer on the right hand side of C, you divide the capacity. So if it is C10, you say the discharge current that it uh, is capable of delivering is C by 10. C20, the discharge current, the uh, battery is capable of giving is C by 20. If it is 20 C, the discharge current that the battery is capable of discharging is 20 times C, 2 times C likewise. So you see that the C rate is quite an important parameter to be considered especially when you are sizing the battery. Consider a simple battery circuit, a battery which is connected to a load RL like this as shown. Let us mark ID as the discharge current. Battery is discharging to the load and ID is flowing out of the battery and into the load in the direction as shown here. And if you take the terminals of the battery and across the terminals of the battery we have VB or the battery voltage. Now for this simple circuit let us plot a graph of time on the x-axis and the time represents the elapsed time of discharge. So you uh, set the uh, load RL to some value such that some discharge current is flowing through this load and allow it to flow for some time T then ID into time T would be the ampere hours that is discharged from the battery and the capacity discharged from the battery. Then on the Y axis we have the battery voltage in volts. Ideally, we expect the battery voltage Vb to be a constant like this. It's supposed to be a constant like this. For however long ID is flowing through the external load RL, we could have the load as a rheostatic resistor and vary the load to get different values of discharge currents ID. Whatever may be the discharge current in an ideal sense, the battery voltage VB will be constant like this for how much over time the current discharges till the entire capacity of the battery is removed from the battery at which time the battery would have lost all charge and the voltage will start dropping down drastically as shown here. 
So this characteristic is an ideal characteristic and you will not see such a characteristic in reality. In practice, the characteristic will be much different. Let us say we set the RL value to some value and some ID is flowing through the load resistance. A practical characteristic will look something like this. The voltage drops with time as ID starts flowing out of the battery, discharging out of the battery, ampere hours are being removed, the charge is being removed and the battery will start losing the voltage and the voltage starts decreasing like this as shown. This drop in the voltage is due to voltage lost in the dynamic internal resistance of the battery. Battery has an internal resistance. Let me show that, indicate that like this. So this resistance, we will call it as RB. RB is not a fixed constant resistance. It is a dynamic resistance. It is a nonlinear resistance. It's a function of many parameters, including the chemistry of the battery. But RB is a very significant dominant function of DOD, depth of discharge of the battery, the depth to which the battery has been discharged. If it is fully charged, then RB is low, very low. And as more and more uh, charge is removed out of the battery, the RB value will increase. So that is what is indicated here. Here, when the battery uh, has not discharged much, time has not elapsed much, you will see that RB is low and VB is at almost full battery voltage. And as time progresses, ID is flowing out of the battery. ID into T will be the amount of charge that is removed from the battery. And you will see that as the uh, charge is removed, the depth of charge increases, depth of discharge increases, RB also increases, and more and more drop starts appearing across uh, RB. And therefore, the terminal voltage VB drops like this. Let us say that this characteristic is for a C10, C by 10 rating. That is, if C is the capacity of the battery, C by 10 amount of current is being discharged from the battery by appropriately setting the value of RL. Now, let us say I have another ID value setting by adjusting the value of RL and I, I do a C by 5. One fifth the capacity amount equivalent to that is discharged. You will see that the dynamic resistance increases much more rapidly and the uh, fall in voltage is much more rapid. So C by 1 and C by 0.5 or 2C, you will see that the drop in the voltage increases uh, very rapidly with the amount of discharge current and uh, uh, with uh, the uh, uh, C rate as shown here. So this, you will see this family of curve where the uh, arrow mark here indicates for the curves increasing discharge current ID, increasing ID. So it is very important to note that C rate plays a very important role in deciding the battery because if you want to have a battery where uh, you want to have a specific discharge time the x-axis and you want to have the battery voltage terminal voltage within a particular limit then you will have to choose an appropriate uh, C rate of the battery. So this will matter and also the appropriate depth of discharge. Uh, so these are important parameters that you should consider while selecting uh, a battery for a given application.